Right, got a few stumps in the airplane there, fellas. And it's not just a helicopter that's taken a bullet. Our pilot's been shot too. Right y'all, welcome back to Comet Arms Channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out an old recommendation, but this was one that was recommended a lot. So I guess this is about a British pilot in Afghanistan who was actually shot in the head while he was evacuating some troops with his Chinook. And it's pretty intense. I've seen a little bit of it and it looks pretty crazy. So it's about four minutes long. I wanna watch it in its entirety. And yeah, I figured I'd just share it with all of y'all. Cause again, this was highly requested. So a lot of y'all have seen this already, but Man, it looks very impressive, so let's check it out. That's it, we're airborne, we're away. Minutes, absolute minutes, under a full firefight. The Chinook's loading bay has indeed proved its worth by aiding quick loading and minimizing Damn, the it looks pretty time hectic the in the back of that bird. Not a whole lot of it's space, for even for a Chinook. To deal with the casualties. Everything works fantastically. When these guys are under pressure, Look at the professionalism. Look at them just doing their job. But we're still under fire. Yeah, dude, I've said it before, but like those those combat medics that are inside those medevac birds are some really solid people. Again, just like you don't really know what sort of situation you're going into, and then you're taking these people, you're doing your assessment. Like you might hear it on the radio as to you know their condition or what kind of injury they sustained, but even still, you're going into an unknown situation and you're taking this person and you're trying to do everything you can while you're also flying. And of course, the pilots are probably gonna be moving pretty quick as well if they're trying to get them back to the hospital. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's not a whole lot of time to react. So you just gotta be professional and know exactly what you're doing to treat these guys right. And the helicopter's been hit. Damn. Yeah, I've got a pilot. Right. Right, got a few stumps in the airplane there, fellas. And it's not just a helicopter that's taken a bullet. Our pilot's been shot too. Damn, that's right, so you know, really it's bad luck. Right through my front windscreen, which came up, hit me on the head. Uh, got a bit of a crack and a bleed there. I thought those were supposed to be bulletproof, but actually, I'm not really to sure. Airborne, our co-pilot makes an emergency call back to Camp Bastion. Hmm. That's crazy, it was in bulletproof. Yeah, I think we've taken around a bomber and the cockpit, and we've also got some transmission problems. Yeah, I think we've taken around above me. Pilots are so professional, man. Pilot been hit? Another bullet has severed a hydraulic pipe, and he's wrestling with the controls of 12 tons of helicopter traveling at 200 kilometers an hour. Ayo. That's not good to hear. Great covering fire from the back door from our RAF regiment. Brilliant work from Paul there. Ah, oh, man, those, those door gunners, man. Those guys are badass. It's just, I mean, it's a very cool job. That's something that I was, like, looking at trying to do. I didn't really know the sort of route I needed to go, but, man, being a helicopter door gunner is some pretty intense stuff, especially for, like, a bird like this where it's being used for a medevac. Yeah, it's pretty crazy when you're going into contact like that, going into firefights and trying to shoot your way out almost. Now, I'm not sure who this like sort of reporter is, this embedded dude who's actually talking, you know, to the camera and whatnot, but he seems like he's pretty comfortable with this sort of environment, especially since this is kind of like a worst case scenario. We were going up and picking up a wounded troop and all of a sudden the pilot gets a grazing shot to his head and all of a sudden the hydraulic lines are severed and whatnot, so... Pretty scary, but he's definitely maintaining his cool. On the M16, never experienced anything like this clearly in my life before. Don't know what to make of it, to be honest with you. It's, um, yeah, the adrenaline dump is going to be shocking, insane, and awe inspiring all at the same time. Yeah. Injured and bleeding, our pilot Chomper wrestles with the helicopter's heavy controls. I've got a sword. I saw a jaw and something dripping down my left hand side. <laughs> I guess he's just describing it and whatnot. That's crazy. All right, that's nice. Most of him is wobbly on the way in, guys. We have CSL. Roger. Hmm. So, uh, Understandable. Fine, right. That's cool they got the footage, though. That's awesome. Hopefully the troop isn't too badly wounded. I'm not sure who it is. If it's uh, British or A and A, maybe I'm not sure. I can see. All right, let's see how the pilot is though. <laughs> We've made it. You're right, fella. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, it must be weird for the medical staff. I'm sure they 
you know, heard that the pilot was injured. But when the pilot of the medevac bird gets out as well to go to your ambulance to get treated, yeah, it's that's pretty weird. Just all back safely is getting a bit of first aid. His escape is nothing short of a miracle. Oh man. The bullet ricocheted off his flying helmet. Yeah, we better take that for ballistics. Oh yeah. If the finger on the Taliban trigger had squeezed a fraction earlier or later, none of us would have stood a chance. Damn, dude. No That's really bad control. luck. But hey, at least at least it's gonna be all right. That's crazy though, I thought the, I that. the windows. Chomper. He's the pilot, he flew that back after being shot in the face. Oh yeah, the adrenaline jump, dude. We were being shot up pretty bad there. And as for the Chinook, bullet strikes everywhere. Damn, yeah, it's piercing. Excuse me. Through everything, man. I wonder how close the they were. Of what's just happened to us finally sinks in. Stop in a minute, oh, please. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely not something a lot of people would ever like sort of picture themselves in being in a helicopter that's being like actually tore up by these rounds. Again, I wonder how close they were. What was actually shooting at them? It looks like the rounds weren't too big, so probably 762, but yeah, they must have been pretty close if they're actually able to hit the helicopter like a couple times too. But yeah, luckily the pilot wasn't injured too badly, but that is still pretty bad luck for it to go through the glass and then go like, I guess it ricocheted off his helmet and, and like cut him up and whatnot. So damn, that is very, very intense. And again, you hear like a lot of crazy stories from like World War II and all these older wars where there was a lot of stuff kicking off, but Afghanistan has some crazy stories as well. And this is just one of them. You don't really get so much exposure a lot of times, especially if you're not in like a particular country's military. So for the US, we'll hear a lot of the US stories, but it's cool getting some exposure with some of the British stuff as well. Cause again, there is some crazy stuff going on and there's definitely a lot of badasses, especially in the British military from what I've seen. There's a lot of cool coverage of it as well, which is nice to see, especially with like Ross Kemp embedding himself, this fellow embedding himself. And yeah, you get, you know, you just get a better feel for everything that's going on because it's, it's very raw. So yeah, very cool. Let me know what you guys think. I do appreciate this recommendation. Sorry it took me a while to react to this. I think I was getting this reaction probably like over a year ago easily. So I'm glad I was able to finally check it out. So of course, if you have any other stories to share, throw them down in the comment section or throw them down in the Discord, I would appreciate it. But yeah, keep all those recommendations coming. I know I subscribe to a lot of the different YouTube channels for like the Finnish Defense Forces, the Royal Marines, all these other channels so I can try and stay up to date. But a lot of times I don't get notified whenever they upload something really good. So I do appreciate when you guys send it to me as well so I can check it out. Cause you guys are definitely a lot quicker at noticing it than I am. So I do appreciate it. Cause sometimes I'm a little bit late and you'll see these reactions come a little bit late sometimes too. But I do appreciate you guys recommending it. Thank you again for supporting the channel and keeping that awesome information flowing so we can share it with the rest of the community. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see y'all in the next one.